hi friends welcome to my channel so in this video we are discussing about integrating microsoft authentication library for angular single page application so here the applications will demonstrate like sign in signs in users and calls the microsoft graph api by using the authorization code flow so uh, if you have doubt what is microsoft graph api so microsoft graph api is a restful web api that enables us to access microsoft cloud ser service resources okay that means with the help of microsoft graph api we can able to access the users data from microsoft 365 and outlook office cartona etc friends here uh, these are the steps we are uh, trying to uh, do here in this video the first thing is i will show application demo then i will show application workflow then um, register the application in the azure portal this is a very important step you know right so uh, friends i'm suggesting you uh, please go through my previous video there i explained the the basic concepts and terminology right? that is very important uh, to understand this video here next we will see project setup and uh, configure the application with the uh, ms uh, microsoft authentication uh, microsoft identity platform okay and next one is sign in how to that means here i will explain uh, the uh, urls and what is the uh, response what is the request we are sending okay those things and conditional redirecting and angular interceptor how to add or invite the users uh, through azure ad okay and sign finally sign out these are the things we will explain today in this video right so next we will see here um, application demo see friends so this is a simple application today uh, we are uh, see in our demo so first thing is uh, once application is loaded we'll go to login right we'll click on login here it will ask the username password i'm selecting the one of the okay. login is successful request uh, your profile information by clicking in the profile above so if you click on the profile see we got the profile information of the user login user is logged in successfully then we got the profile information here now we click on the log out now it will be log out successfully click the account see yeah it is signed out and again you are redirecting to the your home page this is your home page right so yeah this is the app we will see how to implement all these steps here steps so next we will see how we will do app registration okay friends for that we should go to our azure ad so if you go to search button in the azure portal this is my azure portal and there if you it is not visible you can search here azure ad so like this azure active directory it will come so here you go to app registration in the left panel you see there is app registration option here okay here you can select the new registration so i'm just showing uh, for demo purpose okay. single page demo right. so here next step is you need to select which account which organizational directory will allow to access this single page application so if you want to support only your organization then you can select this organizational directory only uh, this is default so organization means friends so if you see here uh, my email id okay sureshkona.integra.gmail.com okay i will show you that organization for example any company they have some organization name right they are registered um, that is the organization for example um, microsoft uh, google oracle whatever may be that that is that is the organization right so if you want to support multi tenant you can select um, so that means some other organization if you want to support not only your organization it should support some xyz organization then you can select second option and third option this is i am going to select because it is supporting uh, other uh, accounts in accounts in any organization directory and personal microsoft accounts 
will support personal microsoft account skype uh, xbox and outlook it will support and one more point here uh, this azure uh, any microsoft this azure ad will become a microsoft entra this will become a microsoft entra okay now i am selecting this one this is uh, additional information i am giving here okay next step is you need to select your platform what is our platform my platform is single page application okay and here we should specify the redirect url so what is redirect url so we know this node.js default to uh, loading port is 4200 right i'm giving this one now i'm just clicking on the register this we can change whatever you want uh, later also okay generally localhost is our server that is the reason i'm giving so if you want to if you would uh, deploy this application into any other server then you can give that server name here and whatever port you want you give here just register um, generally this um, this redirect URA is um, our home home page URL general okay so once you register the application then you see here some claims it will be provided this azure ad will provide some client claims the uh, very important thing is application client ID. it is very it is unique to your application so so this this concept i have already explained in the my previous video okay so your application need to identify by azure ad with the help of this application client id and next one is tenant id so friends this tenant id is it is belongs to organization how many application you created this will not change okay this is common this is related to your organization okay yeah if you uh, and click on endpoints you can see all the endpoints here these endpoints we can use to uh, to access for example i i showed right authorize this is authorized uh, url okay and if you want to fetch the token it's nothing but a login this is the url we should use and you see here microsoft uh, graph microsoft.com if you want to uh, communicate to my graph graph api this is the url we should use so this information also they provided here okay fine friends next next step is app application setup okay now before going to see our application code uh, first we need to see application workflow okay uh, so here in the single page application and microsoft graph microsoft identity platform and microsoft graph api so between these applications we will perform all these steps okay the first step is sign in okay so when the user is clicking on the login button so this is the url friends this is the url will be called this is azure cloud azure cloud url and we need to pass the tenant id okay and uh, along with it will pass the client id and redirect URI and uh, user scope that means um, you need to read user re, uh, read or write permissions everything it will be sent to microsoft identity platform once tenant id and client id will be valid then it will microsoft identity platform will return the authorization code along with our uh, along with html page so it will return the its own um, html page that will uh, ask the username and password okay so once you enter username and password and uh, clicking on submit it will it will send the information to microsoft identity platform okay this is the url it will be used a token url okay so once once your user is user is user details will be valid that means username password is password will be valid then it will be generate the access token id token and refresh tokens and send back to the our single page application okay once you have the uh, access token okay then we are able to call the microsoft graph api so this is the url we will use okay so here along with the url you should pass the access token otherwise it will not allow so once the request is reached to microsoft graph api the microsoft graph api will send the token to microsoft identity platform there it will be validate the token if the token is valid then microsoft graph api will return the response here we are fetching the user profile and displaying into the single page application so these are the steps 
will perform between the single page application and Microsoft Identity Platform and Microsoft Graph API. Then next we will see the application code. Yeah. So friends, if you are very new to Angular, um, this just, this step is very important. So you go to your CMD and uh, install Angular CLI in the global. G means global. And before that, you should install Node.js, right? Next thing is uh, this is the step. Uh, this is the command you need to create an application. ng new application name. Okay. And next, once you create application, then you need to move to your directory. Okay. So once you move to the directory, then you can start installing the specific libraries. So if you want to use Angular material and install this command use this command then this is the command we should use in this demo so that means you should install these two libraries one is msl browser another one is msl angular msl browser is supporting our microsoft authentication library for javascript framework applications whatever may be applica framework used that is developed by javascript framework okay then we should install msl browser library okay and msl angular this is related to your platform currently i'm using angular application that is the reason i'm installing msl angular if you are using msl uh, suppose you are using react for development application then you go with the msl react right this is very important step in for this demo next one is uh, how to generate new components in the angular so this is the command you can use here i used two components one is home and profile that is the reason i uh, put this command here friends i'm not showing all these commands in this demo in this demo uh, our aim is how to integrate microsoft identity platform to our single page application once user is logged in successfully then we can call the graph api and fetch the profile information of that user that is the purpose of this demo right next we will see the application code okay we'll go through our application code right so friends you see my application here only two components home and profile and app component is default component okay here the very important thing is app model dot ts okay you see here this is the code i replaced so what currently we are doing here the first thing is we are providing auth information auth means authentication so our application should authenticated by um, microsoft identity platform right or azure ad so we should provide our client id i already told whenever we are creating an application this claim is given by the azure ad okay if you want to see here if you see here i created application so they provide application client id and tenant id these two are we are using in our application see here where your client id here you need to replace your client id here okay and this is the url cloud url global cloud url azure cloud url okay so and here you need to uh, your tenant id you need to place here these are the two claims you need to put into your application in the auth section okay and we should specify the redirect URL. whatever redirect URL you are specifying there same here we are given right and next one is catchy catchy location this is local storage we are by default we are using the local storage in our angular application okay and two other sections are there those are interaction type um interaction type the interaction type is redirect i'm using redirect another interaction type is pop-up there is a, another interaction type is pop-up okay you can use that one also so i'm using here redirect okay that we are specifying here and another section is msl interceptor okay you know uh, interceptor right generally we are using http interceptor so that http interceptor will help us to um add the some authorization token to for each http request right so that is the thing we are configured here okay these are the three sections right so friends <clears throat> you see here we are using msl interceptor msl god okay msl interceptor also uh, derived from the msl angular msl god also these are all all you know these are all the using god we can protect our resources 
okay here we are protecting our profile component so without signing the user they can't able to access the they can't able to access the profile information that is the it makes sense right okay that is the reason we are we are protecting the profile component with the help of the msl guard this is also derived from the our msl angular library okay so we can achieve our own code also we can achieve these things with our own code also but here i am using same libraries only whatever the microsoft provide okay and we should specify the msl redirect component because we are using here redirect okay interaction type is redirect right so that is the reason we should specify the bootstrap uh, in the bootstrap msl redirect component okay see so you see here all are derived from the msl angular and uh, interaction type and uh, public uh, client application derived from the msl browser okay. next we will see the app routing module so here uh, we created the routes uh, okay two routes one is profile and another one is home component so if you are not specifying any path home component will be loaded that means this is the default page in our application right and uh, if you see here um enable the guard msl guard right so if msl guard returning true then only we are able to see the profile page otherwise it is redirecting by default to login that i will show you okay so next we will see app component app component html so friends in our in our demo you see here this is the page so in the, this toolbar this toolbar this profile and login button these are all coming from the app component dot html and here we will displaying the home and profile con content that is the thing i'm written here okay i'm creating one mat toolbar in that mat toolbar i'm creating a profile and two buttons one is login another one is log out button so these are these will display based on the user logged in so user not logged in then we will show the login button if user in login successfully then we will show the log out button like this and we are uh, displaying our content in the route routelet this section after the toolbar okay now you will see app component dot ts file okay means don't worry here we have so much code is there but don't worry okay see here we are using uh, majorly three things msl service msl broadcast service from the msl angular library and another one is msl guard configuration so we are using msl msl guard right that is the reason we are this is required if you are not using msl guard this is not required okay so first thing is we are we are subscribing this broadcast service in the broadcast service we are subscribing for in progress so with the help of this we, we will able to understand user interaction is done or not okay that means user is entered the username password then login is successful then it will stop then what happen we will get the this event and then we were we are setting the login display flag okay this login display flag we use in the component.html see user is logged in or not we need to understand right for that we are using that flag so how we are setting true here once user is logged in successfully then we are then we are getting get all accounts we are calling get all accounts from the auth service if the user is logged in successfully this should be greater than 0 right this length is greater than 0 then it is true if user is not logged in successfully this length is 0 then it will be false okay this is the way we are understanding user is logged in logged in successfully or not then we are showing the conditional ui login and logout button and some other information okay next you see login logic so it is very simple we are using auth service this is auth service nothing msl service okay we are using msl service in the msl service we have the login redirect okay logout redirect these methods are available you just simply use login redirect 
okay but why these two if and else conditions are there here the reason is we are using msl a guard configuration if you are not using msl guard configuration this this statement is sufficient okay it will check you are using a msl guard configuration then it this statement will execute otherwise this statement will be else else condition will be execute okay and logout a logout is very simple uh, msl service dot logout redirect and we should specify the our redirect URI. I showed in the demo once you log out successfully, it is redirected into this URL. Whatever URL you want to redirect, you can specify here. Okay. So now we will go and see the home component. Okay. I will what is there in the home component? Here two sections, friends. One is before user logged in, after user logged in. Okay. If user is not logged in success not logged in net then it will show please sign in to see your profile information if user is logged in successfully we are using same flag friends here also same logic also and we are showing login successful you can click on the profile button you see the profile information like that two sections we created here and if you go and see home component dot ts so here also same we are using two services msl service msl broadcast service okay so msl service will help us to log in and log out right msl broadcast service will be able to understand the status of the user right now the first thing is msl broadcast service msl subject this is different event okay we subscribe for this so this is required user is logged in successful or not so this is very important here if you are not specify this code here application will not work the reason is after authentication successfully what is the page you want to load there you should subscribe this one why I sub subscribed here because I am loading home component is the default page I specified in the app routing module dot yes you see path is empty I we want to load home component right so we are specifying the local host 4200 that's it right so that means no path we are specifying so automatically home component will be loaded so that is the reason which page is default redirect page there we should subscribe this one otherwise we will get the error so then once user is successfully login we are redirecting to here then we will listen this event event type login success then i'm just just printing you can perform whatever you want here i'm just printing the result here okay now next uh, this is same for app component dot yes i'm just uh, 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 subscribing in progress if user is uh, interaction successful if user is not interacting then we are setting the login display same logic here also same logic call the auth service uh, get all accounts if user is logged in successfully then it will be a one then it will be login display will be true right and next component will be profile component so profile component you see profile component dot html here only only one section that is we are displaying first name last name email and id okay and how we will get that information we will see here profile component dot ts so here i defined the graph api endpoint this is our global endpoint for the graph api okay here this will be call our profile right and I created one profile type object. Okay, now here uh, in the constructor, I'm using the HTTP client. We are registering HTTP client. Uh, okay, and uh, in when the page is loading from the ng on in it, I'm calling the get profile. So we are calling the that end endpoint. Once profile is uh, once it is getting the response, we are assigning to the profile object. okay so this is our application uh, setup friends so anyway this code i will put i will keep into the github uh, if you want you can download from there okay next step i will show you how to add the users or invite the users okay i'll show you that one here so go to your uh, azure directory in the left section you see users okay so already i have two users okay now i'm adding 
new user friends here two two things while using while adding users one is your internal user in organization suppose you want to add your organization user this is the first first option you can select if you want to invite external user that means that, that person is not belongs to your organization but he has some microsoft account then you can use it this one so first i will show you both these steps okay i am creating new user give name now you want to spray the display name don't want to auto generate password i will give my own password then it will be easy to remember okay yeah i am giving some properties for showing right the user type is member because it is our uh, uh, this user is belongs to our organization job title is some hr manager company name ona department hr employee id i am giving some employee id employee type they are all not required but i am just giving here Just give them like height, height, something. Okay, these are sufficient prints. Now I'm just clicking the location create. See, user successfully created. Okay, uh, it will take time to reflect here. Uh, meanwhile, I will add one more user. So now we will see how to invite external user. So email and provide email. whatever display name okay message i'm just putting accept this invite right and just provide some properties okay uh, job title you can provide technical lead something department it employee id just providing this one yeah just review and create and then you can invite so this user is uh, not belongs to organization it is a uh, external user right it will take some time to reflect uh, the data here okay then uh, we will see the application now finally okay so where our where is our application this is our application so friends we will open the uh, first to this developer tools and see the our network what are the url cities calling okay i am clicking login see this is the account we are uh, added recently so here i am entering password so first time if you enter the password it should ask the change password see now it is asking change password and before this one i want to show you one thing in the network you see what is the url it is called right this is the your authorize so here what happen actually it is passing our uh, it is calling azure cloud url and this c this information is our tenant id okay then it is passing client id our application client id and it is passing uh, scope what is the scope for this user okay and redirect url is all the information it is sending once this is authenticated successfully then it will return the auth code 
we already discussed it right this auth code is nothing but uh, auth code along with our html you see the response it is a html actually it is not loading because it is a previous url okay then it is logged in successful actually that is the reason uh, okay you see login it's login url okay there is a another url is token okay and token will come with the new password okay. so what is the current password we need to change it. giving new password whenever you are signing in it will call the token see here uh, one more thing is um, your organization requires additional security information follow the prompts to download the setup the Microsoft Authenticator app this is multi-factor authentication friends uh, if it is a organizational account this is my organization is uh, if it is organizational account it should ask the to ask to install the Microsoft Authenticator app okay we should keep it ready click on next already i installed microsoft authenticator application okay okay see here so we need to install that app that is it is telling and set up your account see it will it will show the clearly you can use our authentication app you can uh, sign in we can scan that it will automatically set up our account it very it is very simple so if it is yeah now i want to enter the this number in our authenticator app once it is done successful see next authenticator notification approved click on next I think the app was successfully registered. Okay, done. See now it is showing. So this is our application name, single page app. So it is showing unverified. The reason is this domain is not verified. That is the reason it is showing. If the domain is verified domain like Microsoft, Google something, so then it this will not come like this. Okay, and it is asking this application is not published by Microsoft. Uh, you want to accept or not okay so sign sign you in and read your profile what it will do this app would like to do it will read your profile maintain access to data we have given to given it to access to once you are given the accept it will read your profile and it will maintain the data in your, in this application like that it is telling so you just click on accept button see it is showing login successful okay so now you see here uh, what is the uh, api here once uh, whenever it is logged in so this is the api it is calling okay and you see the response you got all the token informations access token refresh token id token okay <laughs> access token is required to access the information from the server okay and refresh token is required whenever access token is expired and we need to send access token and refresh token this is taken care by the msl library we are not doing but if you want to develop your own way this is the things we need to implement so once access token is expired then we need to send refresh token and access token without uh, interaction by the user then it will regenerate the new access token and refresh token generally refresh token has the double time Ex double expiry time that means access token expiry time is five minutes refresh token access uh, expiry time might be 10 minutes okay this is the logic general we will follow and id token this id token contains the user information i will show you what information it is there now here so we logged in we logged in uh, for the persona right so we go and paste the here okay. you see that information here so press on your profile preferred username okay gmail and the name it will be printed right so that is the thing now i'm clicking on the profile okay 
we will see what are the URLs it will be called. See, it will fetch the, all the information. What is the URL it will call? It will call the this is the URL. And if you want to see, so we know this graph API will not allow without the token, right? So you see here request headers authorization barrier token whatever token we got that we it is added automatically because we are using msl interceptor okay so because of that interceptor it automatically add the token and you see the response this is the response we got the same response we are displaying here right and the final step is logout if you click logout so and it is asking uh, specify the your account i'm selecting this account see it is logged in logout successfully and it is showing again our redirect url see now it is in home page right now what is the url called here it is called logout session see here this is the url it is called logout session okay now now suppose if you are trying to access profile by just clicking on profile you see it will we are applying the auth guard msl guard right so due to that reason it is read uh, the user is logged out successfully right and uh, that is the reason it is asking to log in again if you click profile see it is asking again we need to log in it, we are not able to access that profile information so that means we are doing conditional redirection with the help of msl guard right yeah so friends whatever uh, information is required for this i will keep into the uh, description right in the video description so we will be getting there okay so um, that's all it friends uh, thank you so much if you like this video please like subscribe and share